So apparently Bob Iger, the woke SJW Disney CEO, had a shareholders meeting. And to say that it didn't go well would be a rather large understatement. He got absolutely destroyed and just totally slammed in that meeting for his uh, agenda to push the LGBT ideology heavily in the so-called you know, family-friendly content. I failed to see what's family-friendly about homosexuality, but hey, uh, it turns out that Disney's values are not actual family values. This is on uh, theobserver.com. It says, Bob Iger was grilled at Disney's place in politics at the shareholder meeting. Iger called Florida Governor Ron DeSantis actions against Disney anti-business and anti-Florida. Well, you know, maybe Disney shouldn't have stood up for essentially teachers to, to sexualize kids with, L, with the LGBT ideology, sexualize kindergartners. And you're not going to believe this. He actually goes on to compare the Holocaust and the civil rights movement to essentially a bunch of, of sodomites wanting to sexualize kids, you know, kindergartners. Yeah, but check this out in the article. Bob Iger's first annual shareholder meeting since reclaiming the role of CEO has had to answer. He has had to answer for some of his predecessor decisions. Sh uh, shareholders from Florida, Nevada, and New York voiced their concerns about the company's tainted relationship with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for its stance against the anti-LGBTQ legislation in the state. Both issues at that former CEO Bob Chapek played a role in materializing. The shareholder meeting virtually, or took place virtually on April 3rd. The thing about Bob Chapek is that his original stance was correct because he just said, we're gonna say politically neutral. You know, we're not saying we're for or against it, we're just not gonna get involved because we're an entertainment company, we're not a, a political propaganda win. But of course, the, the you know perverted so-called uh, employees, essentially the sex perverts who pass themselves off as employees, the woke SJW freaks, they essentially pressured their CEO into giving a statement against the bill, which is kind of funny because I don't really recall when the employees told the CEO what to do, but hey, turns out that that's not the case with Disney. But continuing on in the article, following Florida's Don't Say Gay bill passing at State House and State Senate last year, Chapek, then uh, Disney's then CEO, condemned the legislation in 2022, in a 2022 shareholder meeting. The bill, which the Sentus later passed, forbade discussions of gender identity and sexual orientation among certain grade levels in schools. Yeah, it's for kids under eight years old, you know? But so the fact that, that the Disney employees wanted to oppose that bill just shows what kind of perverts they are. Uh, in response to Chapek's criticism, Florida lawmakers voted to end Disney's status as a special special purpose district, which allowed the company to function as an independent government in Florida for more than, more than 50 years. Ron DeSantis handpicked the board overseeing Disney's district is now preparing a legal battle against the company over the board's alleged inability to, in, to effectively manage the district due to actions Disney took to reclaim power. The Orlando Sentinel reported on March 29th, the governor also today ordered an investigation into the board that previously oversaw Disney's district for self-dealing and other ethical violations. <coughs> Sorry about that, allergy season. But yeah, Disney's in a lot of hot water right now, and this shareholder meeting only added to that. It did not go well. It says in the article, in a meeting, Alan Frischer, a shareholder from Florida who, who works as a financial advisor at Amber Price Financial Services voices concerns about how Disney will protect shareholder values in light of legal issues between Santas and Disney. Uh, or sorry, between DeSantis and Disney, companies have the right to freedom of speech, Iger responded, asserting that there, it is wrong for the governor to punish a company that provides more than 75,000 jobs, yet you're cutting 7,000 of those, that's the ironic part, and 50 million visitors to the state each year. This action is anti-business and anti-Florida. What about the anti-family act of opposing a bill that essentially is saying, hey, don't talk about sex to kids who are not even old enough to understand that? Continuing on the article, DeSantis, a Republican, reportedly indicated he intends to run for president in 2024, which could hurt Disney in its, its long run, Fisher told The Observer. Yeah, no kidding. You know, again, Chapek had the right stance, which is saying neutral. We're not saying we're not going to get involved because it's, we're an entertainment company, you know? And again, I don't really remember when the employees tell the CEO what to do. I, I've worked in retail. And uh, if you're an employee, you're not telling your boss what to do. It's the other way around. He's the one writing your paycheck. Okay, you're, you're not, I mean, seriously, if I was the CEO of Disney, I would have been like, hey, feel free to take the rest of the day off because you're fired. You know, it's a bunch of garbage. But hey, they, they pretty much have shown this, what has happened over 2022, which has been the worst year ever for Disney, has shown that these blue haired weirdos and, and SJW feminist weirdos on Twitter are just a loud and annoying minority. They're not the majority. The silent majority is making their voices known. And essentially, losing money speaks louder than any kind of screeching and, and, and whining these people on Twitter will do. So anyway, we wanted to point that out. Woke SJW Disney is going down the, the toilet and the only solution would be to cut out all the, the, the liberal SJW ideology from the film and just simply get back to actual entertainment and family values. 
you know, essentially do what Walt Disney would have done, you know. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.